Hello and welcome to an Ornum Week Geometric View. A third consecutive Ornum washout is what I feared this year after the Ornum time floods of 2018 and 2019. Covid I thought would complete a hat-trick of wretched Ornums for us. And as if Covid wasn't enough, we had flooding in different parts of the state, a massive landslide that took 70 lives and even a plane crash. But Onam is a time for happiness and positivity, to look beyond the barren landscape of tragedies and celebrate the positives. And I found three wonderful persons, one of them four-legged, personifying the very ethos of Onam. In alphabetic order, Abin, Kuvi and Mary, symbolizing Onam attributes like positivity, loyalty and humanity. Abin K. Thomas, a young master of computer application, is representative of youth everywhere whose immediate futures have been deeply disrupted. After his MCA, Abin had done a short stint with a firm in Cochin when he got his big break as a systems engineer in Bengaluru, India's IT capital. But that's when the virus wrecked his plans. But Abin could spot an opportunity right at home. The local service cooperative bank had encouraged farmers to take up bird's eye chili farming or kantari farming. When everybody goes for digging gold, one can sell spades. And that's just what Ebin did by starting a kantari nursery. In just a couple of months, he has managed to sell more than 10,000 saplings at 5 rupees a piece. So much so, that he may even reconsider his plans of being a systems engineer in Bangalore. How did you get the Kantari nursery idea? Uh, I planted some seeds uh, sap and then grew up with saplings and for my uh, uncle uh, and myself. After that, uh, the Kantari uh, Viplom started in Kanamala Bank so that uh, we got a huge order from Adur, uh, from some techies. Uh, they are working in Chennai. They give a uh, more, they bought more than 5,000 saplings from me. Your nursery is doing very well now. So what are your plans about your tech career in Bangalore? Yeah, thank you. If the Kandari business going, is going well, uh, means uh, after that, I'm not planning to go to Bangalore. Uh, now I got a job in uh, bank, Kanamala Bank. So uh, they got new projects from Labard and uh, Honey Club. Uh, so I'm happy to do that work. The Master of Computer Application is now a master of Kantari application. Kuvi, the two-year-old pet dog of a two-year-old girl called Dhanushka at Petti Mudi in Iduki district, gave an object lesson in loyalty to every Keralite during the Onam season. Dhanushka, her elder sister, parents and 66 others had perished in a massive landslide earlier in August burying them under tons of earth and boulders. While the National Disaster Response Force members kept searching for the bodies, the lonesome figure of Kuvi, doggedly trying to find the bodies, touched everybody's hearts. And fittingly, more than a week later, it was Kuvi who beat the trained police dogs to locate the body of Dhanushka the battered body of Dhanushka, entangled among a web of tree branches. I drove a hundred kilometers to Cherutoni in Idiki to meet up with Kuvi, who has been adopted by the Kerala police dog squad. We don't know what kind of emotions are playing on Kuvi's mind or whether she's undergoing some kind of depression, but she is starting a new life on the dog squad campus. Unfortunately, Kuvi cannot be part of the police dog squad for two reasons. One, the dogs are taken in for training when they are around two months old. And two, native dogs have never been part of the police dog squad. But Kuvi does get to see decorated dogs like Neely, a Labrador with the distinction of being the first ever narcotics sniffer dog in the state dog squad. Kuvi may never be able to rub shoulders with the trained Labradors and the Belgian Malinoises, 
but she will definitely be able to give poignant lessons in undying loyalty and indestructible determination. In this little village called Kumbalangi in the outskirts of Kochi, there is this amazing woman called Mary Sebastian who has spread Onam sunshine across the state with an enormous outpouring of pure humanity. Mary, who worked with a caterer and her husband Sebastian, who is a skilled boat repair worker, had both lost their jobs in COVID times. But when the local panchayat sought lunch packets for flood hit residents of nearby Chelanam, Mary not only offered to give one lunch packet, but kept a 100 rupee note in the packet. Her hope? That it would reach the most deserving person. As luck would have it, Mary's packet was one of the few surplus lunch packets and when police officials who were in charge of distributing the packets opened it and found the currency, one of them shared the message on social media saying, love multiplied a hundred times. <laughs> Now here's a person who has lost her job, her husband has lost his job too. She has found some work with the Employment Guarantee Program which gives her 290 rupees a day just for a few days only. She saves some money from that. She cuts on newspaper subscription to save some expenses. She has no pipe to water supply at home and yet manages to donate some money to someone less fortunate than her. What better example of humanity? Ebin, Kuwi, Mary. Such exemplary examples of positivity, loyalty and humanity. Aren't these qualities the very essence of the Onam spirit? Wish you all a very happy Onam. Thank you for watching.